beast that has taken little pieces of you. Pieces of you. Ooh. It's close enough to see it, but too far for you to touch. What's up, guys? We're at Dog Canyon Campground just inside Texas border. We got our tent set up, as you can see behind me. We're gonna wait out the night, and it's a bit chilly. You can see behind me, right over here. Got some little bit of snow up in the mountains. That's uh, where we're gonna be going tomorrow, hopefully. But uh, it's about 4.45 local time, 3.45 local time, and we're about to make a phone call back home, listen, let them know we made it, and uh, then get supper going on our grill that we got right here, and uh, I will fill y'all in. So we were eating here, I was eating my beans, and it started lightly snowing, which is pretty. If you look up there, way in there in the mountains, let's see if I can zoom in. Let's see, the clouds are rolling in. Pretty scenic. Where we're gonna be going tomorrow. So here we are guys, we're at the park headquarters, the Dog Canyon headquarters right now. And of course they're closed, but trying to get a little bit extra charge on our phones and our batteries and uh, planning tomorrow. And it looks like we're going to try to go to Tejas via Tejas Trail and um, camp there for the night. And it's about 6.4 miles south of here. Should be an okay climb. It's gonna be a climb, but it's gonna be over some distance. And uh, park official here said that it's gonna be a little rainy, a little snowy, and it's gonna be a little windy. But uh, we'll bundle up, and I think we'll be okay. Tonight it already starts snowing a little bit out here, but it looks like it's let up a little bit. the The wind's picked up a little bit, but I think we ought to be good in our uh, truck tent. So. Uh, once we get charged up here, we are going to go ahead and go to bed, try to sleep, and uh, might wake up a little early, get breakfast going, see how much it snowed, and uh, head on our way to Tejas. Alright guys, it's about, about uh, 7 o'clock mountain time, 8 o'clock central time, and uh, the wind's blowing, but it's, it's pretty still inside of this tent here, and uh, as you can see... We're all tinted up in our sleeping bags, and uh, you're gonna try these out. It's the first time using these sleeping bags, but so far they feel pretty warm. So you can see how they work, and uh, gonna try to get some sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is about seven o'clock Central Time, six o'clock Mountain Time. Um, behind me, the sun's starting to come up a little bit. Don't think you can see that though. Uh, we got up. We're dressed, we got our breakfast going, as you can see here, we got some bacon going, some coffee right there, got our lights set up, and uh, it's pretty chilly, the truck says it's about 20, not much of a wind though, but uh, sure is cold, last night we got a little bit of snow on the ground, as you can see, and it's, uh, it's pretty out here, and uh, we're going to eat our breakfast, and Watch the sun come up over the canyon. So as you can see, the sun has risen. It hasn't quite risen over the canyon yet, but uh, very pretty, the ridge line. And uh, right over there is where we're going to be hiking, right over the tent. And uh, just finished off breakfast. Had some good eggs and bacon, a little bit of coffee, hamburger bun from last night, and... Uh, I think we're full, fueled up and ready to go. I'll take us some water. Got our packs right here, ready to go. And uh, hopefully should head off in about an hour. So right now, I'm walking to the campsite bathrooms. It's about a, uh, maybe an eighth of a mile from where we parked for the night. And uh, got to go to the restroom. And I'm also trying to thaw out this glove because taking off the propane, a little bit of liquid propane got on it, 
it doesn't seem to want to evaporate from it. So, uh, the glove is rock solid. <laughs> so, you can see if we can warm it up in the little radiator in the bathroom. Because the mountains are snow capped and uh, it's going to be pretty chilly up there if we don't have gloves. So, hopefully, this works. Here we are at the trailhead of Tejas Trail, and we are about to head out. The E-Trex said that we have about 6.2 miles. We have about 8 hours of daylight to do it. It's 8.30 Mountain, 9.30 Central, and uh, we're bundled up, got our packs, and we'll be on our way. All right, it's been about a quarter mile, and uh, here's the split. And you see Bush Mountain Trail goes on that way, and uh, it's kind of a roundabout way. You can still get to Tejas from it, but we're uh, we're taking the easy way. We're going straight up Tejas Trail, which goes on that way. And uh, we know someone who's over here that's going to take Bush Mountain to Tejas, but uh, we're going to go ahead and go Tejas to Tejas, and uh, should be last junction for a good bit until we get to... McKittrick Trail. So here we are on Tejas. We're about a mile in, a little over a mile. Um, probably about five more to go. It's a beautiful day outside. I don't know if you can see. Sun behind me. It's very, very bright. We're kind of in the shade. But uh, we uh, went ahead and stripped down our clothes because I'm a big guy and I start sweating after just a little bit of walking. So figure that it would be better to just keep going a little bit of clothes on because we're getting kind of hot and uh, that way at night we'll have some warm clothes in the morning we'll have some warm clothes to get back into and uh, won't get too chilly. What is up guys? Don't know how well you can hear me over the wind. It's a little windy in the saddle we're standing in but uh, we're about three and a half miles up Tejas according to my GPS Garmin watch and uh, pretty scenic. If you look behind me, right in, you can see a big drop off back there. And uh, it's uh, quite a view, especially that fog rolling in. But uh, hopefully it'll stay clear and uh, keep the snow out. And uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm getting cold. So here we are at the junction of Blue Ridge and Tejas. I'm not sure if you can see that. Hands are a little shaky. We've been about 5.7 miles, according to my watch. Might be off by about 0.2 miles, I'm thinking, based on what the e trek says and the map says. But uh, that's uh, Blue Ridge Trail behind me. That's a alternate route we were kind of debating about taking, but these uh, packs are getting kind of heavy, so I'm glad we didn't take that. And uh, behind me, see that beautiful view back there of the clouds and the snow covered mountains and uh, we're about half a mile to a quarter mile to Tejas campsite and uh, we're gonna call it a day once we get there pitch the tent and uh, just hang out so we have made it to the Tejas campsite and uh, looks like we're gonna go with this pad for no particular reason other than we we're tired they don't want to carry it any further and uh, Went about 6.5 miles on my Garmin, but that might be, I'm guessing, maybe a quarter mile off. And uh, so, yeah, it was quite a hike. Don't think I could go much further with a pack on, unless I really had to. So tomorrow we're thinking about uh, maybe lightening our load and make this our base camp and try to go down to Pine Springs. Look over here, make out a cistern back there. Back in the day, don't know when, but way back in the day, some goat ranchers would run the sheep up here during the summer because it was cooler, but there's no water up here, so I had to pump water all the way down from the base near Pine Springs all the way up into that cistern and several more, and uh, I was taking a lot of pumps because I could barely get up here myself. So we'll go ahead and get the tent set up and uh, check back in. All right, guys, so we got the tent set up, as you can see, and uh, got our sleeping bags out and our mats out, and uh, 
Now chilling in our sleeping bags. It is only 1.53 mountain time, 2.53 central time. So uh, in here trying to rehydrate, warm up, and kind of sweat it through our clothes. So we're letting those dry, hopefully. And uh, we have some extra, but uh, might go outside later. Might not. We'll just see. Um, it's kind of resting probably for the next couple hours or so because we've got nothing better to do. What is up, guys? We are inside our tent still. It is about 4.31 Mountain Time, 5.31 Central Time, and it is pretty damn cold. Um, at least there's no wind inside the tent, but it's pretty windy outside. And uh, our uh, we, have some, we have some dry shirts on, but our, our pants got sweaty. And uh, mine are still trying to dry out in the cold. So hopefully they'll get dry before sundown or shortly after. And I put them on because uh, these sleeping pads don't don't give too much insulation from the bottom. But it's enough. I'm not going to... Not gonna die, I don't think, but we'll see about that. And uh, we're planning on just going back tomorrow morning instead of trying to go down to Pied Springs because it's colder than we anticipate it, and our waters are freezing over, and we didn't have the right. We didn't. We should have brought an extra pair of pants. So uh, we're not too prepared for this, but we're learning. So the plan is to head back tomorrow, hopefully around around sun up. Hopefully it might be sooner if it gets too cold, but gonna try to survive the night and uh, see see where we are in the morning what is up guys so we obviously survived the night and uh, it wasn't too bad actually um, we saw another hiker so that made it a little easier so if we were to die she'd die with us so we made it through the night pretty well got some good sleep it's about 8 20 mountain time 9 20 central time and uh, just about packed up just getting a few things ready you can see here we have the map out and we're uh, we're changing our plans a bit instead of trying to go to Pine Springs I think we're gonna head back to Dog Canyon but we're thinking about doing Marcus Trail to uh, instead of taking Tejas to kind of make a little detour should add about four miles or so but uh, yeah, we're looking into it so I'll keep you updated on what we do what's up guys we're here at the junction of Blue Ridge Trail and Tejas Trail and uh, looks like we're gonna be going slightly different way back we're gonna uh, tack on maybe two more miles and we're going to have a little more elevation climb and loss uh, going Blue Ridge to Marcus to Bush Mountain and uh, we're just getting all our supplies uh, reconfigured stuffed into our bag a little bit better and uh, it's a beautiful day I think I said that yesterday, but today it's sun's out and uh, some of the snow is actually melting off the trail, so that's kind of nice. And uh, if you look behind me, there's that beautiful view, that ridge right there, and uh, we got that right behind us. So it's it's a pretty good day. So we're gonna set out. We got about two liters of water on us, and uh, should get us back to the truck, back to Dog Canyon, hopefully. So here we are guys, we are a little bit past Mescalero campsite, not quite to McKittrick Canyon Trail, and uh, we see a, another pretty overview there of just um, some flat open air, I believe that's where Marcus is, and if you notice, we're still on Tejas, we decided not to go on Marcus Trail after all, not to go Blue Ridge to Marcus, because uh, we didn't sleep too great last night, and our legs are a little shot, so... We figured it'd be probably the best decision. We could have made it, just we don't really want to try to kill ourselves today, necessarily. And we're not in that mood right now. So we're, uh, we might go adventure, see if we can go see Lost Peak. Might go a little ways down McKittrick. Or we might just book it back. We'll just see. But uh, got that great view behind us. And uh, we have about probably four and a half miles to go. And it is 1011 Mountain. 1111 11 Central, so I'll check back in on y'all later. So here we are at the junction of McKittrick Canyon Trail and Tejas Trail. Uh, we're about two and a half miles in. It's We've been going for about nearly two hours. And uh, packs are getting a little heavy, but that's okay. We're uh, deciding not to go down McKittrick Trail, but we are going to try to climb up Lost Peak. There doesn't seem to be a trail on the, on the park map, 
but on my uh, Garmin E-Trex, it shows a trail. So we might be able to find a little trace or something. If not, it's not that far up. So hopefully we can get to the top of that. That will be a great view. But even here, we got a beautiful view back behind us. Somewhere down there is where uh, Teos campsite is. And, uh, and then facing to the north, we got a pretty cool view too. So we are, we're pretty high up here. And uh, hopefully this is as much as we're going to climb other than Lost Peak. So here we are along Tejas Trail. We are about 3.3 miles from Tejas Campsite. So we're probably about a little over halfway down to Dog Canyon. And uh, we stopped here again at, uh, I'm calling it the Breezy Saddle. I don't think it really has a name. But uh, we're in a saddle here on either side. We could basically fall off. So... Uh, but it's really pretty. Yesterday, I think I took a video here, but it was really cold with the wind blowing. But today, it's it's nice and still, and uh, we can see all the way down in the horizon there, and kind of make out Salt Flat, a little ways in there, and then even further, see some mountains that very well could be near El Paso, and uh, it's just a pretty view. It's a lot to take in, but uh, real scenic. So here we are at Lost Peak, and they, they kind of point to a, what looks like might be a trail. Uh, we'll see how maintained it is, but shoot, back there, there's some fallen trees we had to go around, so it's uh, right over that rise there, that top of that rise isn't it, there's one more that's actually the real summit, but uh, we're going to try to maybe go up this way and go around the back, and uh, let's see if we can get up there. So here we are. We're a little ways up Lost Peak. There was a uh, remnants of a trail. It's definitely not maintained, and we're really close to the edge, so we probably won't go all the way up. But uh, we got maybe 30 feet up off the regular trail, and we kind of wind around the side of it, so we get another view of Salt Flat. And it's a little more, a little more west, and we can see a little bit more. And uh, it's very pretty up here. Again, uh, camera probably doesn't do it justice, but behind me. It's a beautiful sight. Saw some mule deer back there. And uh, down there, hopefully you can see that on the camera, there appears to be what I'm calling Marcus Trail. Um, not quite sure if that is Marcus or not, but it looks like where Marcus kind of meets in and uh, close to the Marcus campsite down there. It's kind of where the junction of Marcus and Bush Mountain. So, pretty sight again. And uh, camera doesn't do it justice, but it's it's amazing up here. So here we are on the Tejas Trail again, still, and uh, so we're gonna take all the way to the campsite, which is the trailhead, which is somewhere off in that direction. But um, we're a little ways off the trail, maybe a couple feet, because on the map it showed a mine entrance being here. So I believe this is it. It looks like it's been filled in, of course, so people don't get lost in there. I don't know how far it went, but uh, <clears throat> I was reading at the at the headquarters back there, the Dog Canyon headquarters, that uh, people used to mine copper out here in the early in the early 1900s, I believe, late 1800s. Uh, but nothing ever came of it. I'm not surprised. You're pretty far out from everything else. But uh, apparently, there just wasn't enough ore in the in the ground worth getting. So I believe this is a mine. They show about two others in this area. Um, this was kind of hard to see because it's not what you'd expect from a mine, but, um, show a couple more. And, uh, so we have about a little under two and a half miles left, according to the e trex and about a thousand feet to go down. So hopefully this will be our last little leg. It'll go by pretty quickly because gravity is helping us. And, uh, hopefully next time I check in, we'll be at the truck. So here we go, guys. In the distance, you can see the trailhead, the trail information, and uh, truck is somewhere in that vicinity. And I'm sure that's real shaky, but we have made it. It is 141 local, 241 central. Uh, my watch says we have gone about 6.8 miles, but I'm guessing that might be a quarter mile ahead. That's how it was yesterday, and. Uh, Yep, we made it back. We're calling our trip a, a day short, but uh, I think it's good. 
and uh, turned out pretty good after all. And uh, once we get to our truck, we'll uh, sit down, rest a minute, and maybe recap the adventure. All right, guys, so you can see we're back at the truck now and uh, got our packs taken off. We've had a bit of a break. We're gonna be sipping on some Gatorade, some water. Uh, total distance was about seven miles for today. It took us about five hours, which isn't a great pace, but we took a lot of breaks just taking the sights, um, especially up, trying to get to that uh, lost peak there. We didn't make it all the way up, but we, we sat and took in some sights, and uh, we didn't really get to do that coming up. Uh, we're kind of kind of discovering that maybe just taking it easy and going slow, taking in everything is the way to go. So as you know, we're coming back home early and uh, earlier than planned. We were planning to go all the way across the park, but the cold weather just got to us and the, we just weren't expecting it to be this cold, which now it's nice and warm. So had we been another day, maybe it would have worked out. But we've uh, we learned. We learned about hiking in the cold. It's the first time we've done it. And... Uh, in uh, Guadalupe Mountains, so it's gonna it's a little icy. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for joining me on this adventure.